fitting um, this large tenon into the uh, end piece of the trestle table and I'm checking the fit and right now this end fits pretty well. I labeled it number one and I've got a number one there. It fits really nicely and I have my mortise for the for the wedge piece to go in. It's at a it's at a about a five degree angle. And I also um, shaped this top piece uh, first cutting it on the table saw with a, with a little bit of an angle and I had a, a template here that I that I drew the, the radius and I did the same thing there and then it was easy enough to plane and scrape and clean up with uh, sandpaper and one of the things that you can get a belt like this is a piece of leather what works really well, although I mislaid my piece of wiggle wood, is a piece of wiggle wood, and I could sand this nicely, kind of like that, and that works really well. On this end, which is, uh, let me make sure, which is number two, it's right now still, still too tight. It's almost where it has to be. And one of the techniques that I'm using is if I tap it in, I can pull it out and see where, where it's rubbed. I can mark some chalk on here, like white chalk, and see where it rubs off and then bring it back out. And then put it in my vise. And then I can take a scraper and scrape a little bit off, sand it. But I also wanted to show you uh, this technique also, which works out pretty well. If you're having a bit of a tough time to see where it's, where it's tight, you can take a, um, a feeler gauge and this is a 6,000 feeler gauge. And where it goes through here, but it doesn't go through right through here. So here it goes through, here it doesn't go through. So I can take, scrape off a little bit, and I can go here. This is pretty tight. Over here, it's, it's pretty tight. So these two ends, and on this side, it's nice and tight, it doesn't actually go through yet. how I, I managed to fit this piece and that's how I'll manage to fit this piece.